video I'm going to show you how to load an online store and how to manage your online store within WebHub. How exciting! Let's get started. So when you click into sites and websites at the top, you will see all the pages listed on your website. So everything that was pre-built for you, home, blog, your freebie page, your freebie pop-up and um, thank you page, your terms and conditions, and then also your online store. So you may or you may not see these pages. I'm going to show you how to load them if you don't see them. Just a note, the online store uh, functionality works only for pro and scale plans. Uh, if you are an essential plan and you want to load, uh, list um, products and have an online store, upgrade to pro or scale uh, to enable all the features to be able to use this. So the first thing I'm going to show you is if you don't see these pages, what you're going to do is you're going to click into your home page, into the builder, and then you're going to click on the plus button on the left hand side and you're going to say add elements and then you're going to hit that store button. It will prompt you with load store pages, click on it and then those pages will automatically be loaded into your web hub. For this option here, you will see that I've already loaded the pages over here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to click into the product page. So that is basically the product list page over here. You can also click edit over there and then that's what it looks like. Once again, it's only for pro and scale plans as the features are needed from those plans. So once you open this, this is where your product lists are going to be, uh, is going to live. You can actually go and delete these two items. You can actually delete this section here as well. Right, so what we're going to do here is we are going to list products that will show up and be displayed over here. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. So on the next page, we've got the product details, the cart, the checkout, and the thank you. And I'm going to show that by um, virtue of example, how these pages look. So this is essentially a mock-up. And once you load your products in, then when you hit preview mode, you will see these products being displayed. So here I've got a kit one product placeholder and a kit two product placeholder. And then also you can uh, use add your own header at the top. So how you would do that is you just click on this button and you go to global sections and you add your header and you just drag and drop it in. So you can drag and drop it in like that. Or you can merely go and update your header if um, if you see another header over here. Uh, this is part of uh, the template, so everybody who had this preloaded um, should see their logo up there. Although alternatively, you can just go and update it over here. Click on your logo, and then you can go and update the image over there. All right, once that is done, the next step is we're going to be loading products. So now what I want you to do is you're going to go to Payments, Products over there. And you can see that I've preloaded those. So let me create another one. Kit product placeholder. Let's call it kit three product placeholder. And you're going to write some words over here and you're going to add an image. Just double click on the image to get it preloaded. And then we're going to add the amount. Okay, so we're going to say this is 50 bucks. I just want to show you, you can change this to recurring or one time, which is really grand. And then you can also add variants in here. So say, for example, you've got something like different sizes. You've got a, uh, say, a small or a medium or a large kit, for example, or a t-shirt or whatever it is. And then you can change the price to a small one being that, a medium one costing that, and a large one costing that. And you can also add a compare price, so it could be that you compare all of them to the most expensive price to show that um, if you go for the yeah, smaller one, then you're going to get a discounted rate. You can toggle around and play with these things um, as you see fit. Um, it's just great to know that these options exist over here. And then let me go into this page here, so now I'm going to go and preview this to see that here I've got kit number three product placeholder. Oopsie, selected the same image. And when you click into it, I just want to show you that here you can see the different variations, which is really grand. So you can see the price actually changing up there. Now let's head over to the next um, part of this. So 
Say for instance you want to add this to cart, you can see that I've, I've already played around with this, so I've already added certain things to cart. You can continue shopping and then you can head back, or you can view your cart. And this is all preloaded for you, and you'll see that these are the items that you've added. Obviously your description will display here as well, and then you can check out. So when you uh, link your Stripe or your PayPal account, uh, your payments, uh, your, your information will be down there. So that we've already integrated this here and then your clients can check out and it's all done for you. Isn't this wonderful? I want to show you another thing. So if we head back to payments and settings, then you can also toggle receipts on and off so that your clients can get sale, sale receipts or not, which is also really nice. I want to show you how to add the store to your top navigation. So if you click on your top navigation, you will see your menu items over here. So you simply add a new item and you call it store and then you can go to product collection. There we go. And you submit. As easy as that. Let me see if it pops up correctly. So now you can see it's in the wrong position. We obviously want it to be, so you can just drag it to be in front of contact. There we go. If you want to see the cart uh, functionality, the little cart on the right hand side that you would see over here, that cart, uh, it's nearly hidden. So you can just change your cart icon color to black. And you can change your cart active color. If you scroll down a little bit, you can change that to whichever color you like. And then it would automatically pop up. There we go. All done. Hit save and remember to hit publish. And then the last thing I want to show you um, is that you need to set up automations to prompt you that uh, somebody has purchased something. So I've set... Um, up one over here and I just want to show you how it works so this gets triggered uh, by so an order is submitted so you can just see that there are the three different kit um, products over there so once an order is submitted um, it gives you, you add in this trigger and then you will get an internal notification and you'll get an email says okay there's a new order this is important and then um, we've added in some prompts as well on how you can uh, look into your payments and into orders to complete the fulfillment of the order so there's some detail in there as well so you don't get stuck I want to remind you once again of this chatbot here at the bottom right um, if you are in need of help you can always check on click on chat and you can say chat with an agent and somebody could, uh, would, uh, can chat with you and they can also hop on a call if you need any further assistance. So with the automations, um, I would say use the one that I've set up there and just copy it. Uh, make a clone so you can just duplicate it over there and then you just select the second product that you've added and it would automatically then update um, the automation.